So I have a question for you aspiring first generation cash flow millionaires. What do millionaires have to learn from the movie Mortal Kombat? I said it correctly, Mortal Kombat. And yes, that's correct, the video game. Hmm. So I will be sharing with you the incredibly powerful wisdom from the movie Mortal Kombat for you in this episode of the Seven Figure Squad happening in three, two, one. Let's go. Never short stopping. Now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches. Now I'm making seven figures like. What's cracking, everybody? Money Smart Guy Matt Sapoli here, hailing to you from the Money Smart Movement headquarters, the Seven Figure Squad studios here of Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, a downtown suburb of Chicago. And in today's episode, I wanna bring with you a short message that I think will bring a lot of value and exposure for you. Why? Because I will be sharing a millionaire's perspective on the movie, Mortal Kombat. Yes, you know, the video game with all the characters like Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, Jax, Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, they line up on each side, next thing you know, fight. <laughs> next thing you know, boom, boom, they're all these dudes, you know, back, back, forth, forth, slash, slash, you know, all the cheat codes in this game. These guys are going after it, boom, get over here. Guy freezes, boom, right, all these different things. And next thing you know, boom, finish him. Whoosh, guy spine gets ripped off. Next thing you know, fatality, flawless victory. <laughs> the reason why I bring this up is because we took our 10-year-old son, Jojo, to this movie uh, last Friday, and he just <laughs> absolutely loved it. But some of you may be reacting, what can I actually learn from the stupid video game, let alone a movie, about becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire? But I wanna warn you, if Mortal Kombat is too graphic, don't worry about it, this video is not for you. But if you're still with us, this video can be quite helpful for those of you with open minds, empty cups, and open ears, always looking for an edge to get ahead. When? Now. What in the world can a Mortal Kombat type movie teach a first generation cash flow millionaire? Well, I'll transport you back to last Saturday's training here in Oak Brook Terrace, Illinois, live at the Money Smart Movement team headquarters. So here is what every aspiring millionaire can learn from this movie, Mortal Kombat. So if you haven't done so already, grab your notes. Let's check this out. And as I, as I wrap, wrap it up, so we took our kid to go see Mortal Kombat. Who, who remembers like uh, uh, old school, like Mortal Kombat yeah. 1? Yeah. Do you remember 1? Yeah. Yeah. Like Sega Genesis 1? Yeah. Oh, you do? Okay. Like, like, like Nintendo, 60, Nintendo 64? Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo 64? Yeah. So, so I, I haven't played Mortal Kombat since then. I've, I've been a fan of the movie, the music, right? I, I just love I just love the soundtrack. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> okay, but this is the way it used to be, right? This is you in, in the game. In the game, you would uh, fight at the different levels, okay? In the first one, you saw, you saw Scorpion or Sub-Zero or Liu Kang or Kano, right? They'd be right here. Everything else was a question mark. Yeah. Right? You didn't know who you were going to fight next. Yeah. Okay? You guys remember that? Yeah. So you go beat this guy. Yeah. Okay? And the thing that moves up here, right? Yeah. You, you're moving up the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <laughs> now you beat that guy, it, it, you know, and now he appears. You beat that guy, you move up here. The face appears, right? Da -da -da -da. Now, the biggest guy, here, the, the, the second to the largest biggest guy, ended up to be a guy named Goro. Right, Goro, right, guy's nine feet tall, had four arms, he picked you up with two arms, he started beating you with the other two, right? Or he picked you up by the waist and he tried to pull, pull your spine out. It's pretty grotesque stuff, right? right? Finish him, fatality, right? So, so, so you would fight Goro, the biggest, baddest creature there in Mortal Kombat, right? And the whole time, you're kicking tail, kicking tail, kicking tail, I'm about to win this thing, I'm about to win this thing, right? Now, now question mark disappears, and guess who appears in the, in the box? It's you. You, whatever character you chose. For me, I was Scorpion. I love Scorpion. Get over here, right? So the, the, the game, the game would memorize all your best moves. At the end, they use it right against you. 
They knew they knew your your hacks. They knew your little special moves. They know your finish, right? And you have to. Be, it was you versus you. you. And your own patterns and behaviors would beat you because it, it remembered all your stuff all the way up. It knew your cheat codes. Your back back forward, eh? <laughs> right? You knew all that stuff. All the different things here were about getting you to beat who? You. you. So how did you beat you? How did he beat you? He's growing. You had to break your patterns. Wow. You, had, you had to come up with something new. You had to recreate yourself. So if you want to get to the next financial level of your life, you got to break the daggone patterns of your life, the conversations. You got to remove certain words out of your vocabulary, like try, maybe, come on. you know, next week, tomorrow. Yeah. Those, are, those are quitter words. Yeah. Champion words, today, now. Done. Championship type caliber words. Now, I don't know what type of vocabulary you want to take coming out of here, but it's up to you. These are the things. You learn these financial products, you're a great help to your community. You make, a, you make an amazing living. You decide to grow as a professional, as an individual, growing your leadership, guess what's going to happen to you? You're going to lead a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be inspired by you. A lot of people are going to be affected by you positively. Like there's people like four, five, six generation away from you in, in, in the organization chart that you help somebody, help somebody, help somebody, next thing you know you change your life, you didn't know it because you did it. So when I say all these things, and go, uh, go through all these different trainings, different examples and the things I ask you to read and study, I hope that you do, I hope you embody it. The reality is only a small percentage of you will do it. Your job is to be part of that small percentage, yes? yes. That being said, guys, we have Now you see, at the end of the day, one of the biggest battles you will face always is you versus you. I've said this many, many times before, and for some reasons I catch a lot of heat from it because guys like me, we just don't stop. Why? Because we've made a commitment to myself and for my family that we are always in the business of discovering the next best version of ourselves. Without that mindset, without this commitment, without the willingness to commit yourself to this process, and be disciplined doing so, your dreams of becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire may just not come true. But if you commit yourself to finding out your capacity and continue to reach your full potential and expand that potential, then becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire no longer goes from uh, if it's going to happen more to a when it's going to happen. But before I let you go, please check out a couple of videos here. Number one, we did a interview with Rabbi Daniel Lappin on biblical wisdom that can make you a millionaire. One of our greatest, greatest interviews we've ever done. And in my opinion, one of the greatest biblical conversations about money ever done in my professional life and career. So please check out this video. And here's another video here on how to think like a millionaire because how you see things is how you'll do things. That being said, I want to know your thoughts, your feedback, your comments, your follow-ups. Put them in the comment section below. By the way, I want to thank you in the Seven Figure Squad community. We're about to eclipse 100,000 subs. I think we're at uh, 87, 88,000 subs at the shooting of this episode. We're about to eclipse 100,000, and it's because of you. You guys continue to, you guys and gals continue to support this channel. You guys continue to comment this channel. And by the way, we've done zero advertising of this channel. This is purely organic. I thank you for helping us get to this type of position. And we're looking to cross 100,000 subs. So if you haven't done so already, drop your thoughts, comments, questions, feedbacks in the comment section below. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please click like and follow our business page, Money Smart Guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our Seven Figure Squad community. That being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.